Welcome to the Cross Live Podcast. My name is Carlos Smith, and today's episode is sponsored by Charlie's Home Cooking on 1136 East Black Stock Road in Moore, South Carolina. Charlie's Home Cooking is a family restaurant that cooks like grandma. Fresh veggies, meats cooked on. You can do a meat with two sides, a meat with three sides, or a veggie plate, along with sweet tea, Kool Aid, and lemonade. Cakes, pies, and cobble are also available for dessert. If she wants you to feel at home, so make sure you stop by on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday from 11 to 6. On a Friday from 11 to 6 and Sunday from 11 to 7. Everything is fresh and from the heart, so make sure you stop by and visit with Charlene for some of the best home cooking meals that you can have. So today, this is the final episode of the Cross the Line Podcast for 2019, and this is one of my favorite episodes to do. It's the 2019 Hip Hop Roundtable Edition, and I'm back with some of my favorite people to sit and talk with. And I, to my right, I have Troop Dizzle, who dropped earlier this year, Coach Pete, to my left, and also Boyd and P from Dev 864. What's going on, fellas? Yeah. So man, can y'all believe though, like this is almost this year's almost coming to the end already. I remember last year, y'all two peak and troop, y'all was here with me last year when we did mm-hmm. uh the round table at the Marriott yeah. and then P's we did an interview back in what, February, the first one. Yeah. And now the year is almost at the end already. Uh, right. Yeah, man, it's fine. My first question to start everything off though is um overall I know and I know I saw this thing you know, in one on one interviews, but how did y'all view like Hip hop overall this year. Um, maybe it's like a, um, I guess it depends though, like on what artists or so. But we're not all together. I feel like we we, we just kind of hurt this year. We took a lot of losses this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We took two losses. Right. I think the the whole Nipsey thing. Oh, we talk about it, but the whole the whole Nipsey thing started to get all kind of weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was, it was one of the situations where like uh, you didn't feel like it was supposed to happen. You know what I mean? Like, like so yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I don't really think lost that deal with this shit or last year. The yeah, years kind of ran together, man. But, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was. A, I mean, hip hop overall, like the whole opioid thing. It, it's in hip hop now. It's going strong. You know what I mean? So we had some weird situations, but musically, man, we had another good one, man. It's still the biggest genre in the world. So it's true. I feel like 2019 was like a, a continuation of 2018 um, as far as like music wise. You know, 2018 was a good year. Yeah, 2019 was starting off good, but like my boy said, the Nipsey situation hurt yeah, 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 with that bad energy to it. But overall, man, like I said, hip hop is still the biggest job we've got. I, I feel like last year was, the, was a better year overall just because of the music. It seemed like everybody was dropping, somebody was dropping something every week, but I still feel like. We still had a good year, but like you said, to me, everything just changed when Nipsey passed. Like, yeah. To me, they just kind of like killed my whole mood. Like, uh, and you can tell by a lot of artists, like, listen to their music and how they uh, did things. Like I said, we're going to talk about top five albums um, in just a second. But, you know, uh, to me, Game, he had like a little segment in his album where he's kind of like dedicated to yeah. Nipsey. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just like, man, you could just see it and, and watch it. When you watch some of these artists' interviews, like, you can tell, like, they actually, like, they hurt mm-hmm. from what happened to Nipsey. And it's not, and Nipsey wasn't the only person that passed. We just lost Juice World just a few weeks ago. But I feel like Nipsey was the one that made a, definitely made a big impact on the culture and the stuff that he was doing. And to me, I was just like, ever, ever since that happened, to me, it was just like, it just was like a, like you said, when it wasn't going to happen, yeah. And it just messed up everything, to me, in my, my opinion. Nice. But, uh, we go, one more thing about Nipsey real quick before y'all, before we switch to uh, the top five albums, like, what do y'all think his impact is on hip hop? I guess Nipsey, um, he showed it was more than, you know, it's more than being just a rapper. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah, you can come into the game as a rapper, but, you know, you got a bigger responsibility than just rap now. Yeah. Another thing is um, ownership. That's what made that. Yeah, yeah. it's just ownership. Like, yeah. Open your own stuff. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. That was that was my favorite thing about it. Yeah. To me, that's that's what made a more of a significant impact on me because when we really like came out, it was right around the time for me where you know I was starting to do like pod. Well, I had, I had done some like recordings by myself before, but like I was really like starting like selling the best then. So listening to the picture right out there it was like it really kind of like pushed me okay. Now, Nipsey really top of that, top right. of the top of the earth. So, ownership was a big thing to me. And now you see a lot of artists now, you know, trying to uh, 
uh, get into ownership and things like that. But and the way Nipsey uh, gave back to his people, um, that, that, that's what stuck for me. And, and like I said, we, we did an interview a few weeks ago in Atlanta with Dr. Key. Uh, his, his words are so powerful in his lyrics, like uh, in, in the record he has on Gang Now, and what from home, the line he said that stuck with me was, uh, probably died in these streets, but I survived with my name. Yeah, yeah. When you say something like that, yeah. it's just like, man, yeah, man. like we are, like we were saying, like, you, we don't think he was ready to go. I'm pretty sure he wasn't, but like, when you speak those kind of words, like, it's, it's, it's just like, like kind of know, so, yeah, you know I mean, yeah, and it just felt like he kind of, he was ready to accept it. Like, yeah. yeah so like what he's done is, it's just done. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 but it's like, his legacy to me is like, he's still, to me, he's going to be a legend. People are, uh, I mean, I hate to see him go, hate to see him leave, not be here. And even though, you know, we get ready to return to a new year, it's not like we can still bring him back. Right. That's how he's still going. Right? One, one thing I didn't like, um, it, it's not necessarily in our community, but you see it, like, I'm talking like hip hop community, but, but you see it, like, on, on social media where people are having this debate, like, is Nipsey a legend or not? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? People will go out of their way to disrespect this man when he put in 10 times as much work as they did, and they still love. You know what I mean? So it's like it's like you know the, the disrespect that people have. You know, it's just I mean like we we live in a real disrespectful environment when it comes to social media, but a lot of a lot of that stuff is just is not called for. You know what I mean? Yeah, go so far. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Like it comes to a point where it's like you can't. That man ain't here to defend himself. So you know what I mean? We still saying certain, certain things like nah. exactly. And I, I just wish we would still embrace him like why he was here. Yeah. And I see a lot of artists even like Master P gave him a hard time. He was saying stuff about. You know, BET was giving him the uh, award, Lifetime of Cheer. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, they should have did this while he was still yeah, here. Like, mm -hmm. he was doing all this stuff while, while he was alive, like, giving to the community. But then when he passed, it's when they finally yeah. there. It's so, sad to see him happen for like every all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they don't get their flowers right Yeah, now. it's yeah. Just, I, was, I was just about to say that. You never get your flowers, people you smell them, man. Exactly. The only thing they really did was, uh, well, a lot of last year, well, he got nominated. He got nominated for last year. I think Rex in the middle was up for one. Yeah, this year, I but, but I wish he would. To me, last year, I felt like he, he should have won. Uh, got that money, he would get the lap. But mm -hmm. that's, you know, still for another day. Politics. But yeah, of course, <laughs> it's kind of like a uh, uh, popularity contest. Yeah. To me, in my, in my opinion, I just feel like the more popular you are, the more you got more life you are to and it's not taking the thing away from Carter from last year. I thought like she had a good yeah. I thought she had a good round of communication prophecy. But to me, hey, in my opinion, I would get the news to get the right. But let's switch gears real quick and uh, let's go to uh, top five albums of hip hop or top five albums period for 2019. All right. We're going to start it off. Uh, I, I started off. Well, I got, I got top five, but I don't have them in a particular order. Um, so I'm putting Meek in my top five because Meek came out at the end of 2018. Yeah. And uh, it wouldn't be fair, to, you know, if we didn't mention that. So I got Meek in there. Um, I got Big Crit in my top five, man. Uh, I really like Crit's album. Um, I really like Tyler the Creator. I felt like Tyler the Creator was very unique when it came to this album. Like the character he had and all that. It was, it was very random, man. Uh, and then I got Art Legacy for Shea Butter Baby, and I got uh, Summer Walker over. So I'm over my top I gotta get on. I, I never heard of this guy, Art Legacy, but I heard it. Yeah, Art Legacy, wow, man. Yeah. yeah. People, what you got? I don't think I got five, but the, uh, the albums I'm thinking of, I'm thinking Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates had a double album. Uh, young Boy album, you do drop. I like the um, like Young Boy. On Roddy Rich, man, I was really sleep on Roddy Rich. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I had to listen to him. I seen a performance where he was actually playing the piano and um, doing this thing with him. I'm like, man, this brother really talented. Mm -hmm. So I went back and checked that out. I'm like, man, that's fine. That's true. That's true. Uh, I don't know if I can say top five. Five I like, like listening to, listening to. Uh, Bobby and Cordae, The Lost World. Oh, that's definitely one of my got top three. Yeah, that got go he, he, he's, he's, he definitely, yeah, I became a fan. Um, me too, me, definitely the comeback is crazy. Uh, young boy, it's, it's in rotation. We can't sleep on the baby like the baby. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> the baby came out like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's I mean, yeah so, and then, uh, I give the game because Fab too. I like Fab. I like Fab. Fab. If I had to choose between the game and Fab, I'll give the game. Yeah. Both of those came out the same day. I listened to the game. I mean, I listened to Fab first. Yeah. When I went to the game, I didn't even go back. 
and I found one of my favorite artists. Like, oh, it's not hard. Yeah, it's just like that. I'm gonna tell y'all who I was listening to last week. Y'all might give me hell for this. My boy, Too Short, just dropped the album. Bro, Too Short. I'm not gonna tell y'all. 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 I'm not
Yeah, I mean, making, making cities, you know what I mean, like longevity-wise. Yeah. He, he in a position right now where we never seen this out of the Carolinas. Like, yeah. even, sure. even with Cole, Cole went to, he yeah. went to New York. Yeah. And then, you know, he did what he had to do. Yeah. You know, we always hear the story about him rapping outside of Jay-Z's office. But we don't never hear these stories about, like, how the baby really talking about what he doing. Yeah. Like, this is going to go try and you can see these places that he talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, so how much of it do you think is, is social media? Because social media was around a little bit when Cole was starting, but it wasn't as like it is now with Instagram. Like, so Cole really kind of had to, you know. I mean, you got to know how to use social media. You can have a million followers and they still not even buy your project. If they're not invested in you. I feel like with the baby, like, with him, he, he'll be like, hey, I'm about to drop these shoes off. I'm in Phoenix. I see, I see, you know what I mean? Like, he do that. Yeah, yeah, he, you know, he do that, or he'll be like, he'll be like, I can't smoke on Instagram this week. Or he'll just be telling him, I can't do this this week, I can't do this. But it's, it's all about how you work, how you work Instagram. I think he just made everything fun, man. I, to me, he made, he made the best music videos. Yeah. Like, even to me, even if you don't think, even if you don't like his music, which I do, like his music be like Bob. Like, yeah. that's one of the best music videos. Yeah, like, he made his music videos. Yeah, he made his music videos. Yeah, he created it. That's what grabbed my attention last year. It was uh, on one of his, I think well, I want to say it was Baby Top 5 when he did a music video for Yeah. It, it kind of reminded me of Buster Rhymes. Like, you remember when uh, yeah. Buster Rhymes was real animated, but you remember like, like yeah, but you remember like back then in that time period, each, like all artists had some outcast. Well, Andre 3000 was weird. Buster was weird. Yeah, Missy Elliott. She yeah, was yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like with now, like I feel like he stick out because everybody else is saying. Yeah. It might seem cool. Or yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. 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 Okay, if you give me a thousand hip hop videos, nine hundred of them gonna be these dudes in the kitchen with five, ten dudes with five. <laughs> now, for yeah, it's yeah, yeah. 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 You get every video. Every video. Every video. Is that that video will be in the kitchen. So you just <laughs> like, <laughs> so I have to see I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> you feel me? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, it's, it's, so it's, it's the creativity. Yeah, it's low key, it's boring. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? Right. You know I mean? So, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, man. A lot of times, I mean, I can speak for how they did too. Like, we might be unprepared. Like, yeah, like, might be a video shoot day and you forgot about it. Yeah. Uh, so you doing last minute and then you just end up your video might not have nothing to do with the actual song man. Right. because you you winging it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Let's go uh, future collaboration. Like, next year, who would y'all like to see do a collab together? Like, either as a, as a total album or just like one record. Right, they got a record already, but I, I would like to see the whole album, Drake and Chris Brown. You know me too? Yeah, they know guys. I really think they got one in the tough days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they did that, ain't no way in hell they wouldn't. Yeah, right. Let's go ahead and. Yeah, that's true. That'd be crazy. I don't think. Well, I mean, I feel like they probably do that in front. I think I got it. They probably do the tough. Man, let's be real. They can't drink and call. Um, the baby and, and Meg didn't put out the best of both worlds or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, coming together because you talk about a woman that can really rap. Like, even when Nika was really rapping like that, Nika was a superstar. I don't think it was another superstar that was on Nika level that could rap like Nika yeah. at that time. Yeah. Meg, Meg is up. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Meg outrap most men. You know what I mean? So it's like, I want to see something. Matter of fact, Nika showed us some love too. So yeah, yeah. Nika yeah. showed yeah. 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 But see, like, who we was talking about this? I was on a, I was a Christian podcast a few mm-hmm. weeks ago. We was talking about this, like, when Nikki came out, really, it wasn't they were, they many female artists at the time, like, right around that yeah, time. Sure. Like, uh, like, Rimmer was locked up. Um, yeah. now, now, you, now you got Cardi, you got Meg, you got who else? Uh, you got the City Girls, you know, you got, uh, what's your name? Rapsy. Yeah, yeah. Rapsy, yeah. Yeah, Rapsy, yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like when, it seemed like when Nikki was out, though, it was like, she was kind of like, only yeah, female in that time. Yeah. Was she the only one or she, was she just that dumb? She, she was just really that dumb. You got my say she was. People yeah. weren't rapping like that. At the same time, it's like, in a sense, it's kind well, of. I don't even remember anybody that was really rapping. She, she had a top of her. So she looked Drake was like, she wasn't really the Kim. Uh, the Kim, I'm talking about somebody else kind of like. Yeah, I looked up to him. She had two, three years. As far as the artists, like, yeah, in her era. Yeah, 
Yeah, nobody. Yeah, 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 like my girl at the time, she be like, yo, man, he can drop. I said, damn, you know what I mean? Like, we, got, we ride, even if I don't want it in here, we ride. Yeah. Still, but yeah, and plus me with Wayne, you know, yeah. they still, they still yeah. a major, yeah. a major coach. Ain't like, Nicky still signed to your money? Well, I would put money in, so I'm not there. Yeah, yeah. Drake is not there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so I would. Well, Drake just even first. He ain't even here. Yeah, he said that in the interview. What about time you get I didn't finish the interview, man. I would watch this shit. It's so long. I just I, 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 This is one thing I like about those kind of interviews as well, like stuff you don't get on the radio. It's like, they can kind of like, they're more vulnerable when they yeah. open up, man. They can sit down and mm -hmm. chop it up with the nitty gritty. Yeah, you know, so Drake never really do interviews anyway. Yeah, exactly. He was talking about everything. He was talking about Push the TV. Yeah, yeah. Got that. Yeah. He never yeah. talked about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He took it straight up. Yeah. 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 Say they pretty much said they pretty they probably won't be cool like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Which is, which is cool. You don't have to be cool. Respect that. Like, I mean, he probably respect that too. Yeah. Oh my my uh, future collaborators, I would say I want to get some maybe from I would say the baby, maybe me, if they can come. Maybe me. Yeah, that was his thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd like to see something like that as well. Um, I'm gonna go talk talk about some of y'all parts real. I know we did the same thing last year. Um, but I'm gonna ask y'all again, like as far as like this year, what would y'all like to see more of like DJs and radio stations do for artists? Like for y'all, what do y'all think they can do more for like to help mm -hmm. push artists? Uh, well, I'm, I, I kind of, I, I, like, I want to say this, but I don't at the same time. Cause JJ Solomon, he Solomon always get in trouble. Like if I say DJs ain't doing nothing, they not. Like we, DJs not breaking records no more. Yeah. And when and just like us three, we can be at this, we can be the, the three hottest artists in South Carolina. They not they'll rock with us, but when somebody else come from outside, come get some money here, they gonna be all up under them for that time being. They might even forget about what's going on right here. And that's what a lot of these DJs are doing. Or if they see an artist doing wrong, or like they know that the artist ain't got a master the proper master song, or it ain't mixed right, tell them, put them on game, and don't have them out here crazy. And they do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But who's that going on? Would that be more on the artist? I mean, you gotta know the business. It's on the artist. But as a DJ, you know what to look, listen for. Yeah, you know, when you've been in the game, you know, great DJ. You gotta know that shine on YouTube either way. Yeah, man. What else would y'all say? I just feel like networking is one of the most important things that we need to work on. Oh, yeah. You know Period. You know what I'm saying? There's so much talent here in general. We just not utilizing each other. I think it's not just going on here, it's everywhere. But matter of fact, no how to network. No how that's true. Oh, that's true. Sometimes we can have events that's true. and folks be in the room on their phones. You know what I mean? Yeah, all the time. Right. Right. You know, it's all right. 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 that cool, but you still want to be here. Like, I got a couple North Carolina DJs. They love our records down here. They play no problem. Like, a couple of Atlanta DJs that play our records, no problem. Upstate DJs, they ain't scared to play Carolina records. Unless it's the baby or baby. Yeah, I got you. You know, yeah. so I mean, I feel like they should just literally just play more Carolina records. Like, you know, you ain't gotta play it back, back, back. You know, I'm playing. You know, I'm playing. Yeah. So, so we, we all, we all try to get records on radio. We all, we all reach out to the DJs or like, y'all just pull up to the station or how, how do y'all do that anyway? Like, you know, I got some, I need y'all to sit on. I got a couple DJs that actually got contact with me. Um, I literally just called them like, look, I got a new record. Uh, you know, what's the tea? You know, yeah, yeah. Some more I'm sorry, but I'm also on real. Nah, nah, let's talk about this too. <laughs> 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 you get that too. But they will take that payola. They leave. Exactly. So they they got any ways to Yeah man. You know, they tell you, you know, like people yeah. that don't know payolas when you pay to get these these records played on the radio and stuff. Yeah. No limit Larry doing it. All these folks is doing it. Yeah. And then yeah. yeah. say we don't want no money, blah blah blah. Yeah. 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 It's all about their work. Yeah. They had to do some other stuff. They had to pay for advertising or 
may be sparks are in the game yeah. in terms of ready to play the other. But really, just to say it's not like yeah, you directly the pass. Yeah, exactly. I had DJ tell me like, yo, bro, like I'm gonna be at this club and like you can even pull up. You probably not hurt. You probably not hurt. Yeah. Pull up. You know what I mean? Buy some drinks for me and my people or something or whatever it is. Or if you dare come holler at me, you know what I mean? Like they may they act like this, like we obligated. I mean, we are obligated to come rock with them if they working. But there's a lot of people that ain't working and. and it's a lot of artists that do that. They talk like they're working and they're not. It's a lot of DJs that talk like they're working and they're not. And then you have a year to go by and everybody still be in the same spot and you wonder what happened. And ain't nobody working for real. You know what I mean? Like, it happened, bro. What's so, up? Do we have any kind of like events where you can like, around here, where you can come, come by network with these people? Like, I know you support you go to a club and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. A good event that was recent was uh, Jet Dad had like a net wave. That was like that week, right? Yeah, it was, it was, they, they had a studio opening oh, that studio like, opening. on okay. Saturday, but they had like a net wave event. They had a lot of artists. And I say, yeah, it was a lot of people networking. They brought like 20 of the beats that were with and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, they had like looking yeah. out for beats and stuff, but there's a lot of people in the room. Like, a lot of people I didn't know that I got to meet and stuff like that. Yeah. But I, I said the link up, man. The link up in Greenville. I, I, I started going this year just because uh, one of my daughters, something about so so. So so is in Atlanta, and like she comes back and forth here, you know what I mean, trying to work with artists, you know what I mean. And some artists, man, you, you gotta take advantage of it because from, from the link up, I was able to go to Magic City and perform, but she had me like two shows in a day, you know what I mean. But it's all about like knowing who to connect with, man, knowing who to talk to. Because a lot of people, like I said, man, we go places and then we don't talk, and we just sit there knowing how to talk, yeah, man. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah, man. Like, how, how you want a career? You're not talking to the person that's gonna show you how to make a career. Right. There's no, there's no school that you can go to for this. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It, it's not no teacher out here. Like you gotta, you gotta be able to link with somebody. And that way, the more people that you talk to, like say you come in contact with a manager, he like, bro, I manage you for 25 percent, but you know the industry doing 15 percent. If you don't know that, you're gonna give him 25 percent. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And he's gonna eat all day. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like you gotta know, man. When you know, you know. When the last, was the last artist from, I don't know, before the baby got signed, but is, is there any other artist, like, specifically, at least from South Carolina, that got signed, signed or whatever? Uh, no, Black Zach, what about two Black, Yeah, Black Zach is not with SMG. Yeah, he got signed with the Let's Go. Oh, Let's Go with Alamo. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I think that I think the guy that's over her really, really the one that got her blood. And I don't think she really signed the QC. Yeah. But it's kind of like a joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Probably doing like some management type. Yeah, got people like management for the yeah. work that ain't necessarily signed. Uh, QC. Is it is it really worth even like getting a, like a record deal now? Because you can get like kind of like a radio, like you can get directly with your consumer now, like instead of like signing deal. Like what what is it that a uh, Record deal will do for you that social media. Can. It depends on what kind of artist you're with, but sometimes record deal can provide like, maybe financial and promotional security. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, as an independent artist, you gamble with your money, with everything that's yours, versus, you know, you got a record behind you, you kind of gamble with they stuff. That's you know true. I mean, uh, I mean, it depends on how your deal worked out, too, though. Yeah, I think it depends on your situation. That's yeah. what I always say. That's what I always say. They say you do your research, do interviews and stuff like this. So I always say that it's like it depends on your situation too, but you do need to know this. Cause this is why you always hear like, like, you always hear about artists being jerk. I mean, at least they first deal, it's like the industry just set up and like jerk them like the first deal. Yeah. I mean, it's because they don't know. It's because they don't know, man. Like, let me tell you, bro, it's 2019 and I got this music business book, right? In 2006. They just stopped giving artists contracts that mention cassettes, vinyls, and stuff like that. We talking about 2006 when digital was full streaming. So these people were doing contracts off of tapes and they ain't used contracts in 10 years because they not knowing. You know what I mean? You're not paying attention, but when you know, man, when you know you can't let nobody take advantage of you like a baby, man, it, it, people know that the baby was signed to Rock Nation first. So you will sign the Rock Nation, throw the album, throw the Rock in the album, Jay-Z got a lot of and still do it. You said that. You told us you feel we knew, but then that whole situation fell through and now he got a better deal. He went with Everscope. Now you got BDB and ENT. You know what I mean? Now it's all about leverage because when he was baby Jesus, he didn't have that leverage that he got as the baby. Right? Mm -hmm. 
you know what I mean? So you got. I just wonder like what what could a, a record label do for him? Cause like he it was like he was popping before, like he yeah. started to take off with even out without even having a they, they put that they put that money behind him. Yeah, that cost him. Yeah, and it's like, we know you already got this. We just gonna have it. yeah. And it's just like going. To, uh, I mean, I'm compared to like maybe going to war or something. You know what I mean? You can go to war by yourself, but if you got soldiers behind you, it's true. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I just want to get to like I like to me like he didn't really need it. Cause I, I don't know, I just think like with social media as big as it is now, like that's like your your hype machine now. Yeah. Like, just push everything and the way he was doing it's like, I don't know, I mean I don't know what all the ends and outs about music and yeah, off and stuff. Yeah. It so. could it could have been a possibility. Now, I ain't saying this about SCMG, right. but it could have been a possibility that SCMG was running out of money. And not even not necessarily not even necessarily running out of money completely, but when you run it down to like six figures. And like you, that's all you got for this for this whole label. Now you gotta bring somebody else in. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, royalties on the pay. You know, yeah. so much. Yeah. So you know, two months in, you might be spending. Yeah. Yeah. And what's gonna happen when that bad thing stop coming? Right? You feel me? You know what I mean? So you gotta know. You gotta know. I think I asked y'all this one time before, but also like radio, would you still work chasing like? It, it ain't worth pushing your all into, like far as like putting, you know, uh, putting all your money into radio. But it, it, people still take radio serious as far as like getting new music and like who they think is like solidified as a real artist or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. But as far as like the all in, nah, like you know, you can go a little more. Because yeah. there's so many different platforms. Like, yeah. I think it's a good outlet, but it's not. It don't got to be. Right. Right. Yeah. You see, like social media is like. Yeah, see, yeah. Like, yeah. And it's free. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget that. You, you can pay for more. You know what I mean? But yeah. both parts so, free. Yeah, yeah. But you need to also always have your own, like, have your own thing because if those servers go down, like, on Thanksgiving, Facebook went down and people going crazy because they couldn't post their meals or their website. Now, now he got his own platform. You feel me? So, like, bro, like, Whenever them servers go down, like if you can control your website, you can put a video on your website. Right. Like yo, I know Twitter down, I know Facebook down, we're coming over here right now. Right. That's weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right. like get your fans and rock with them, you know what I mean? But that social media, bro, like they don't Instagram only wants you to get so big yeah. before they start being like, hey, you know you gotta pay for this promotion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the baby, the baby got all these people like the dude from the bot video, the guy with red shorts. He paid, man, he paid them dudes for that advertising at first. You know the guy that do with the Indian, like the Indian food and all that. Yeah. Okay, boom, he paid. Okay, say you say I'm paying him a hundred thousand to promote me. Instagram make a dollar off that. Mm -hmm. So why why I'm gonna let you be in my backyard playing for and I can't get paid? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? So that's how it's going. It's it's messed up, but that's how it's going. It's, yeah, it is. It's crazy. It's probably it will, that shit. That stuff probably wasn't going on five years ago. Nah, right. You know what I mean? But it's just that they see. They make money like this. Yeah. And watch, watch TikTok become. Bro, that's true. Why you see Jeremy Scott Jones? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Man, especially tax season. Watch how this happened. Tax season, you see so many rappers pop up. Mm -hmm. Like March, April time. June, July is back to these. You know what I mean? Oh, June, July is back to us three. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, for real. That's how, that's how I always did. You know what I mean? That's, so that probably would be a, a big change. Also, um, what y'all say? I know we was talking about this earlier. I see you say something about um, like the music industry that you like, um, like Lizzo. You posted a while back about like, this Grammy situation. Yeah. Like, about like a popularity contest or something. Yeah, okay. Man, okay, so like with Lizzo, man, and I said that and people got mad, but like with Lizzo, man, and I embracing it because now you got somebody that look like us and he can say yeah, stuff yeah, and we yeah, say that yeah, and yeah. we latching on to that. When Lizzo, when Lizzo come out, she a big girl, right? Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody gravitate towards that, but the music not it. It's not. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have heard of this coming. Yeah. And then like, bro, she was in the Hustlers movie. Like she was a stripper in the Hustlers movie. You know what I mean? So people went nuts. Nah, people just yeah. yeah, I watched the movie and she come in Nick and I'm like. Yo, like, but but it's it's that's what she's doing. She embracing that 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 body. They say she been out too. For she been out. Right. Bro, yeah. true. That song been out what two three years? True Hurts came out two thousand seventeen. Yeah, it just went number one. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went number one off of Netflix. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? So like, but with that, <laughs> but, but the reason, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but and then that's fact. So but, like, the reason I got mad is because you got somebody like Ari Lennox, right? And Ari Lennox, like, she got that cold cosign. Her, her single was the lead single for free too. But y'all gon' y'all gon' like act like this album ain't come out. Like this ain't top five right now. You, right. you know what I mean? So that's why I got mad about it because it's like the, the Grammys is getting caught up in it. And I'ma tell you, the Grammys will cater to what they think black people like. So if they if they feel like this black woman like that, she is big and voluptuous and we gonna get more black people here to watch our show, she gonna be on that show performing the um, with a flute. And I, I don't even know if she's playing but if she performing, but I guarantee you it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Why you got somebody like Ari that made soulful music, reminiscing of like, yeah, not even getting recognized. Soul Train Award did the same thing. Because the Soul Train Award, they won the champion Lizzo. You know what I mean? But this time next year, we're not even gonna talk about it. It's I hope she can make it. Um, but nah, I, I don't know. I, I haven't really listened to it. I'm going to ask you, why else would she walk out of that latest game like that? It's attention. attention. Um, it's attention. Then the next week, you get Time Magazine, Artist of the Year. Bro, come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, come on. When we talk, you get her uh, Time Artist, Artist of the Year. When we got me Mill that's working on prison reform. Me Mill had a whole album talking about prison reform. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm talking about me, man, but kind of a whole different person than me. You know what I mean? But it's like, bro, I, I guess, I don't know, I guess we just get caught up in the answers. You know what I mean? It's everything, a moment, we ain't getting caught up in what's real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking about artists that uh, don't get recognized and, and people that's getting too much credit. Who do y'all, who else do y'all feel like was like overlooked this year? Mm -hmm. Somebody that don't get enough credit, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm going with my girl, all right, limits, man. I, don't, I don't really like she all is, that. Right. Yeah, she is all right. Bro, like, you sleep with bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when, you, when you when you when you listen to art for she real, she, she sound like she sound like Eric for so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and it, but she sound like a wretched Eric. You know what I mean? Like, she can say some nasty stuff and get out, but then she can say something that's gonna, you know what I mean? They're everybody gonna rock with so I go with art. I still say to me, I still say Wally. Oh yeah. Still on the creative, creative man. Fast. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I be sleeping on crazy. I haven't really got to, but so many people have told me I need to go ahead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, what's my man's name? Told me, told me that, uh, told me Nick Boy. Yeah, I, I had some people. Yeah, yeah. 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 he, 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 like, he dropped a song every or a video every every week this year. Every week. Yeah, my shoulders the blueprint. Yeah, man. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, I think he, those those two minute, two and a half minute songs and, and the catchy videos, all that. Yeah, I, I think just I feel like it's kind of like changed, like mm -hmm. changed the game, man. Mm -hmm. Quick video, make catchy, mm -hmm. get in and get out, yeah, and get out. boom, that's it. I, I definitely feel like he had by far the best year overall. But for me, I was saying about Wale. To me, Wale is super dope. He can rap, but he was like for me, kind of like the comparison. The thing I said about him was like one of those artists that you know can rap, 
but it's like you just don't really like listen to him like mm -hmm. like damn bro like, I know he can spit but it's just don't really you know listen to him like that. Yeah. But but this album right here, I, uh, while it's crazy, it was it was dope. It was it was a vibe for me. I, I, I felt like that album. He talked about like mental health. Mental health yeah. yeah, and he talked about some stuff. I mean, I like I like when I hear a project. Man, this ain't no not no artist. But I like when I hear a project and I know who they are. I listen. You know what I mean? I feel like I've been listening to your guy for 10 years and I don't know who he is. <laughs> nah, for real. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> real, man. Yeah, yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real. It's real. But it's like, every time that come out, it's a gimme. Like, it's five star shit. It's cool. going down yeah. in the DMs. Um, break it up. No, he can't speak. He's trending. Yeah. 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 That is true. I would say CL7 was still on my yeah, favorite. Yeah. One of my favorite mixtapes in the garden. But that's true. It's like, it's ours. Like, as they get older, you want to hear how they grow and evolve. Yeah. And things, but like, some of them are. So, let's say, he's still selling. No, he, he been out of that. You know what I mean? Crazy. He, he, he was. was he was. Yeah. 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 But I think yeah. that's kind of like the industry anyway, though. Like, it's just all for entertainment. Yeah, man. I can't listen to it, too. Yeah. I can't listen to it. Yeah. Can't listen to it. Yeah, guaranteed. Future goals, we're almost done. Future goals for uh, upcoming goals for everybody for 2020. What would y'all say y'all got? Projects or whatever y'all got? Um, like goals or just like projects? Projects, goals, even I'm going to drop another project this year. Oh, I'm definitely going to drop another project this year. Um, but as far as like goals and stuff, I want to um, marketing. I feel like it's one of the most important things in establishing yourself as a brand. Like I said, don't have to talk to people and stuff like that. Cause like, at the end of the day, if you want to work with somebody or you want a deal, I don't, I, I don't even think I want a deal. I just want to know how to market myself and establish myself as a brand. Cause yeah. once you're doing that, it's like, okay. Everything else coming. Everything else coming together. So, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, I just put out a project in October, but uh, I feel like I want to I want to be more so focused on visuals this year. I feel like this year I took a lot of time to like study on the business and like perform. You know what I mean? Because it's an art of performing. It's an art in recording. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's why it's recording artists and it's performing artists. And some of these folks cannot record. Some of them cannot perform. You know what I mean? But it's like, uh, to me, I study the people that can't perform. I study the ones. I ask myself, like, why they can't do this? Why I never see the dream anywhere? You know what I mean? Like certain artists, you know, I, I, I take that in, into like how I want to move and I want to be a better artist. And I, I really, I really got in my mind in six months, I won't ever have a nine to five again. Like that's my mindset, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to work for nobody else no more. You know what I mean? I want to do everything I can to put myself in a position where I, I don't have to work for nobody else and I can show other people or, or so learn way. from other people, you know what I mean? Yeah, so people what you got. Um, well, I dropped session mine three this year, close to the end of this year alone. Next year, I'm dropping a project, uh, Therapy, that's going to be my next project. I want to do a couple short films. So, you know, I had character production, publishing, um, getting rid of that. You know, I had to go around with it, getting rid of that. I want to start up with a friend of the time, Rick Lake. I want to um, try to work with other artists. I think it'd be fun to play the backfield and put somebody else yes. in. It'd be like a fact, like a little deal there. You know what I mean? Like a little simulation or something. <laughs> yeah. And black people love when you when you ain't got your name or something. Uh, that supports you. There's something else I learned that shit, man. Our people, we will support somebody or something when their name is not attached to it no more. You know what I mean? So that's why a lot of these artists, when, when that, who I can't even think of nobody that had somebody big. Like, I can think of Akon when he had Lady Gaga. He never told nobody he had Lady Gaga. Yeah. They, they would have been like, that Akon artist? You know what I mean? So, that's you have your name on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm saying from the Cara P Productions, kind of, you know, Cara P, you know, it's a little they got my name. Like, yeah. uh, they were like, who's Cara P? But uh, for entertainment, I got an artist. Like, who's it? You know what I mean? Right. But then, and I think this is something we got to do more of next year. Like, when we do these interviews, man, we always talk about, like, just support each other. Like, yeah. own, ownership yeah. definitely is key to we, we need to own more of our own stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, we said, I'm going to get out of the interview, at least it's so. 
with Doc Key, who said like, instead of going where we celebrate, we like to go where we tolerate. Yeah. Like, that, that's always what we do. Like, we feel like our people are not enough. Like, we ought to go somewhere else and feel like we got to be accepted by them instead of like our own people. Mm -hmm. That's going to our people's issue. Mm -hmm. Man, she said something that was, that was so, uh, so, so powerful to me. Like, when we was doing the interview, she was, we was talking about that, not being, being accepted by other people. But she was saying having a, having a, being in a press, having a seat in a press system is still a seat of oppression. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. that's real, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I was like, man, we, we have to get, like, change the mindset of, like, just being, like, ownership, like, on all this stuff and, and pulling people up with us, man. Man, it's, it's crazy that you said it because that book I was telling y'all about, the overseas book, it was talking about how a lot of people we deal with oppression or racism, and it, it's so, it's so frequent, we don't know. You know, we we have, we don't we don't ask why our our kids gotta have the worst educations or why when you go to predominantly black neighborhood, they school system terrible. You know what I mean? We don't ask no questions, but we used to. We used, used to. to. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. yeah. So that's 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 that systematic oppression and racism that just trickle down, and now they ain't even gotta handle them because you just like, well, that's what that's the idea. You know what I mean? And then sometimes like when you talk to people like. They don't understand what you're talking about. Like they they just so so used to whatever they're used to, used to that being the norm. Definitely my goal, man, just continue to push the podcast, man. Um, just continue to grow, man. I, I really appreciate y'all because for me, like I said, tell the truth one time. Like first, I wasn't really big on doing music interviews, but y'all like, helped push me out of my comfort zone and make me take on another channel. So I appreciate y'all, man, because they helped me to uh, to work on my craft. So I, I, I study a lot of interviews. I don't really like to watch a lot of TV shows. I'm more of like watching uh, interviews. It's like just studying the craft, man, and, and just watching how other people do theirs. So for me, it's just continue to step out of my comfort zone and, and just, you know, continue to push the brand, man, more than the job, cross the line podcast, man. So we definitely have some more stuff coming. But, man, I just want to say I appreciate y'all, man, because y'all helped make this year a success for me because y'all helped give the people some, some great content as well and music and everything. So I appreciate y'all for that. Same to you, man. Like, I appreciate it. You, gave, you give us content. You know what I mean? Like, man, these people know, man, like, when we leave, man, these, these videos that you post or the videos we post, man, that's coming straight from you. So, yeah, salute you. Because I know it takes time to, you know, chop it up or make a video or a small clip or anything. You know yeah. what I mean? So, that goes a long way too, man. Yeah, it is, it's definitely a grind, man. But to me, it was just my goal was always, like, just working over to the job, bro. Just, like, I need to do something else. I want to show up and grow. I want to be able to pull other people up for me as well. And that's what I love about the podcast because like, I can get to sit down with y'all, chop it up with y'all, and we get to grow and we build. Yeah, and we yeah. Grow. Yeah. yeah, so, and like I said, man, we, next year it'll be two years since we shot our first couple of interviews, man. Yeah. Like, and that, that was crazy. Like, I feel like yesterday, yesterday too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the world I did this yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had did it. You also, First music video, I did, well, the first actual video footage I had, that was the first music interview. And then when you hit me up, that was that was the second one. And I was like, man, I don't want to do these like music interviews at first. But then, man, as I started doing, man, like y'all realize y'all y'all always y'all help me grow like a lot of these interviews, man. Cause it made me actually study music more as well. Like I mean, that wasn't really my lane, but like just being able to like do this and, and y'all send me records and let me listen to it, man. Like I, I appreciate y'all. So, you, know, it's, you know, some artists don't know how to actually like sit down and talk to you, how to talk to you. Yeah. You know, yeah. somebody can't do that. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> they just yeah. in yeah. rap mode all the time, yeah. and they'll just yell with up, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, some rappers don't know how to sit down and talk to yeah. you. Some rappers like, aren't sober enough to sit down and talk to you. <laughs> yeah, there you not go. For real. Like, there you go. Like you said, they always in character, man. Like, that's something I want us to do in 2020, uh, 2020 like, Man, as a hip hop community, man, like whatever, whatever it is, if it ain't gonna keep you around, don't do it. Don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, no matter if it is you get hit in a situation, you feel like you gotta pull out something, or if, it, if it's a situation when, like Juice World, God forbid, don't just don't put yourself in a position like that. You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason why we should be going out like that in 2020. Yeah, it's too much. Like, especially so young, man. So much to give, and like, man, I, I hate to see that as well, man. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta stick around, man. Still continue to support each other, continue to build your own, have to create your own. If nobody gives you an opportunity, man, you create your own seat at the table. Like, put yourself on and put your people on it. It's 
go. So, man, I appreciate y'all again. Before we get out of here, is there anything else y'all want to say? Well, tell everybody how to find y'all on social media as well. Uh, I started off on um, Instagram at PKSIS4, Twitter PKSIS4, SoundCloud PKSIS4. Um, at Poetic Peace, P O E T I C P E E Z. That's everywhere, man. Beautiful Nightmare out everywhere. Go we'll get that. Um, at Truth SC on Instagram and Twitter. I think it's at Truth Does on Snapchat. I'm never really on it like that. Um, and Truth Does it.com, man. So, yeah. TruthDesert.com, just scroll to the bottom, you can find all my social media links. Alright, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, until next year, keep chasing your dreams. This is Cross Line Podcast. Thank you for listening. What's up, this is your Truth Desert. Follow me at TruthSC, at TruthSC on everything at TruthDesert.com. You now rocking with Cross Line Podcast. You. I have been a Shaboy, Poet of Peace, a young king building the kingdom of kings and queens, man. Now rocking across the line podcast. Yeah. What's going on, Coach Pete? Rocking with Cross the Line Podcast. Follow me on IG PK64, Twitter PK64, section by three out nine.